Uh, and I'm here today to discuss the state of public education in Texas, uh, announce a plan to accelerate our efforts to prepare students to compete in this global economy that we uh, live in. You know, they say everything's big in Texas. That definitely holds true for uh, our growing population and certainly for the challenge uh, that we face to properly educate our young people. Uh, your leaders in Austin have not ducked their responsibility in that area. They've been working in pursuit of our core goal, which is ensuring young Texans, no matter what their economic uh, situation may be, graduate from our high schools, career uh, and college ready. Uh, we've done this by crafting and signing uh, sensible legislation like this past session's House Bill 3. I put an emphasis on the basics. It ratcheted up our uh, accountability ensured our standards and our curriculum and our textbooks are college ready while giving those students more flexibility to choose the courses of interest that motivate them. Uh, it also provides parents with access to vital information uh, not only on their children's progress but on the district's financial uh, efficiency. These improvements build on our other education improvements like the largest teacher incentive program in the in the nation uh, this last year and next year Texas will spend more than 395 million dollars on a program intended to get our best teachers into the hardest to staff classrooms where that they can have the biggest impact uh, thanks to efforts like these that I've just mentioned our tax scores for 2008-2009 were up in every subject and every grade. Uh, Texas was recently recognized as one of only four states in the country to close the achievement gap in math. I was pleased to learn yesterday, Robert and I were discussing this on the, the way up, that the African American eighth graders in Texas tied their counterparts in Massachusetts for first place on the National Assessment of Educational Progress Mathematics exam. And for those of you who know that NAEP, it's the gold standard. It's the one that uh, um, people look to. And our uh, uh, averaging a 272 on the NAEP, our Texas students beat the national average for their demographics by 12 points. Uh, I happen to think that is great news for Texas. Education Week magazine also spoke well of us lately, uh, identifying Texas as being one of the first states in the nation to hold schools directly accountable for ensuring students graduate college and career ready. Bottom line is we made significant progress but we have work to do. Uh, no one is uh, propping their feet up on the desk. As our Competitiveness Council made clear in their report last year, our state's future prosperity depends upon our ability to attract new jobs and draw investment to the state. Besides our uh, low taxes and predictable regulatory climate and our fair legal system, the most important job attractor is a well-educated workforce equipped to meet the demands of a high-tech economy. Business and government leaders across the state agree that the ever-growing demand for students in the science, math, and medical fields exceeds the supply uh, of those individuals by a large margin. So to overcome that shortfall, we must increase the number of college graduates in the science, technology, engineering, and math fields. Expand the number of rigorous math and science courses available to high school students and increase the number of effective STEM teachers. I'm here today to propose a solution. We must significantly expand STEM programs across the state of Texas. Four years ago this December, I announced the T-STEM initiative which grew out of the Texas High School Project uh, it's a public-private partnership uh, formed to improve outcomes for um, at-risk students. Our partners included the Gates Foundation, uh, represented 
uh, today by John Fitzpatrick. Uh, our goal was to encourage more at-risk schools, uh, or I should say more at-risk students in science, technology, engineering, and math, and prepare them to compete in the global economy, and obviously strengthening our high-tech workforce uh, at the same time. Since then, we have funded 46 T-STEM schools across the state, and already 86% of these schools are exemplary or recognized, and all are meeting our state standards. On the average, TCM campuses outperformed their peers by 18 percentage points in the 2008 math tax and 19 percentage points in the 2008 science tax. This is remarkable. Given the challenges that the average student in those academies face, and I might add the comparatively short time uh, these T-STEM academies have been in existence. Um, expanding our state's investment in the STEM program will require us to focus on four essential elements. First, I propose that we double the number of T-STEM academies in Texas from 46 to 92. We're going to obviously double the number of students who will be receiving a STEM education. Uh, to capitalize on our state's critical mass in biotechnology research, for instance, uh, developing, uh, that has been developed due to uh, market demand, uh, our emerging technology fund investments, uh, our Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas, which uh, most of you are very aware that back in uh, November uh, of last year we passed a constitutional amendment that is revolutionary in its impact on uh, the finding the cure for cancer and obviously an extraordinary lure uh, internationally to this state. Uh, and some of these schools uh, that we're talking about creating here and some of the ones already created uh, but will be focused on uh, medical and biotechnology. So um, all are going to be increasingly um, serving as lab schools, if you will, uh, training more teachers to teach in these essential subject areas. Now, second, I propose the creation of a $100 million STEM Challenge Scholarship Fund for students seeking degrees or certificates uh, in the STEM fields. These scholarships will not only provide an incentive for our hardworking high school students. Uh, uh, I think a couple of applications just came in. But it's obviously going to encourage students just like these standing behind me uh, to continue their studies in Texas, not in Iowa. <laughs> We were just having a little fun conversation back there. Third, we have to ramp up our efforts to expand our STEM qualified teacher pool. So doubling the size of our highly successful UTeach program. Uh, UTeach is designed to lure those high performance uh, college students with math and science backgrounds into the teaching profession, supplementing their technical pursuits with teaching courses and graduating them with teaching certificates in hand. This was originally created at the University of Texas, Austin in 1997. Uh, it is now in place at UT Dallas, UT Arlington, and UT Tyler, along with the University of Houston and North Texas. Um, and it's obviously supported by some private sector partners, including Texas Instruments. I propose that we add an additional five programs at five other Texas universities as a way to produce an additional 2,000 excellent STEM teachers in their first five years of existence. Now, fourth and finally, we should expand the Advanced Placement Training and Incentive Program to 50 additional high schools by 2015. This program, which targets large urban school districts, has been dramatically increasing the number of traditionally underrepresented students who are taking the AP uh, exams and in turn earning uh, those college credits. 
let's expand the program further and give even more bright Texas students a chance at the opportunity uh, that uh, higher education brings. When you combine these four initiatives, you end up with a strategy that will accelerate the pace of our high-tech education, expand opportunity for the young people of our state, and strengthen our state's workforce in the future. So I, I look forward to uh, discussing these initiatives with our uh, legislators as we move towards the 82nd legislative session, uh, along with, obviously, the educators uh, in this state, uh, the um, private sector partners that we will also uh, be luring to uh, participate here. And together, we can continue to provide Texas students the opportunity that they deserve uh, to pursue the education they need and fulfill their potential and keep Texas moving into the future.